Hi students, this Sunday you had your JE mains examination and we are going to analyze the physics section of the exam. Now what we will be going to do in this video is take up the individual chapters and then uh, take note of a number of questions that came and the difficulty level that was in. Then we will take a few questions towards the end uh, to just take some examples, right? So uh, starting with class 11th. Uh, the first chapter, Error Analysis and Instruments. You had two questions as expected, one easy and the other was average. And then from kinematics, like in the previous year 2015, there was no question. Uh, from laws of motion, uh, there was one combined question with work energy and power, so no independent question. So if we go to work energy power, there was uh, one easy question and then one combined question which was of average level. From rotational motion, we had one average and one difficult question, so a total of two questions. From gravitation, last year there was no question and this time there was one easy question. Uh, from the topic of properties of solids and liquids, there was just one question and that was even a combined question with oscillation and wave. So in fact, no independent question and in fact, for, uh, if we talk about liquids, topics like surface tension, like in 2015, no questions being asked. So we can see that if we look at 11, there are important topics from which no question was at all asked. Uh, from thermodynamics, one difficult question regarding the graph. And uh, then in uh, kinetic theory of gases, one average type of question. From oscillation and waves, uh, there was one combined question as we just talked about. And then there were three questions, two average type question and one difficult question. So in total, as expected, uh, around 43% questions came from 11th and this is exactly the same number. So uh, it's 13 marks out of 30. So uh, uh, I'm sorry, 13 questions out of 30 uh, came from class 11th as expected. Now if we go to class 12th, of course, uh, 30 minus uh, 13 gives you 17 marks. From uh, electrostatics, you had two questions, both average type. Uh, from current electricity only one easy question and then there was one other combined question uh, which we'll just come to in some time from magnetic uh, effects of current and magnetism you had two easy questions so we can see uh, 12th part was comparatively easier so we'll also uh, look at that as we move ahead from electromagnetic induction and alternating current one average question from electromagnetic waves one easy question from optics, there were three questions. Uh, in fact, this was comparatively difficult, two average questions and one difficult question. From dual nature of matter and radiation, one average question from photoelectric effect. From atoms and nuclei, one average question. And then from electronic devices, there were a uh, total number of four questions, out of which three were independent, one question was shared with current electricity. We'll just discuss that. The important thing is all of the four questions were easy. So in fact, if we see in class 12th, uh, compared with big and important topics like electrostatics and uh, EMI, uh, which had like two and one question each, uh, electronic devices had four questions. Lastly, from communication systems, uh, one average level of question. So a total of uh, 17 marks. Now if we uh, look at the total distribution, then uh, out of 30 questions, 11 questions were of easy level, 16 questions were of average level and around 3 questions were of difficult level that is about 10%. So uh, this makes the paper look average but because of long calculations we can say it was average to difficult. Uh, now there were few important things that we must note. There were two questions that had two correct answers. So I am talking about one question which there was uh, alpha and beta of common emitter transistor and there was another question about angular momentum of a particle moving along a square so uh, in fact in both of these questions option number one and three both were correct so the good news is if you have uh, marked one or you have marked three in either of the case you are correct uh, now let's take example of uh, just few questions I'm talking about combined type of question now this has been a trend uh, in JE means which is increasing that questions not from a particular topic but from a combination of topics are being asked. So uh, there was a question regarding the temperature dependence of uh, so the, uh, it was about copper and undoped silicon. So in the temperature range of 300 to 400 Kelvin. So in that question uh, both your understanding of current electricity as well as of digital electronics that is semiconductor devices that was needed. And then there was a question which combined work energy and laws of motion. So basically it was about a friction 
so a point particle which was moving along a rough track so we see that in these kind of questions you had to take care of both the concepts and apply those concepts so this was the overall analysis of the physics section